Hey there YouTube, Practical Schroeder coming at you with a video here all about the Wilson Combat Vickers Tactical Sights that I chose to install my Glock 17. As you can see I chose the plain serrated rear sight and the tritium front. That is the .245 and what they do is they recommend that for 9mm, 40, 357 SIG and 45 gap. The uh, 45 and um, 10 mil have another one. They do include this tool here in case you think you're going to need one. Okay, so quick safety check, standard lock disassembly, take the weapon down. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and tear into the front sight using the supplied tool. Once you go ahead and get the front sight post off, it's not a bad idea to uh, save the screw here and just put it back into the old top because you can't reuse it, it's too long and it would suck to lose. I mean, not that you're planning on putting it back on, but nice to keep things together. Now for the old rear sight, just a couple of wax with a little mallet. I used one with a plastic tip so I wouldn't mar anything up. Now the new front sight has an oval notch which corresponds to a notch in the slide. And what you see here is I, I point my tritium dial back towards me, that or my vial back towards me so that I don't uh, mess up and put it on backwards. Now, the easiest way I found to do the screw is to put it into the tool first and then put a dab of block type on it. Then, holding the front sight with the other hand down onto the slide, you can reach up and through and thread that puppy. Now be sure to go counterclockwise first until you feel the first thread click into contact with the corresponding hole and then you can go ahead and thread it in. And a little insurance twist and verify straightness. Now we're going to want to worry about the rear sight and it fits into this channel from the left side. Now you're going to have to take a little bit of metal off, they do fit these, make sure to back out your allen screws that are in there first too. I don't show that on the video, but you're going to want to do that. What I have here is a triangular uh, Nicholson rasp. Uh, they do make specialty ones that you can get from Brownells that have a safe side so that you don't cut any metal on the uh, side you're not wanting to cut. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut into the dovetail to remove the metal. You can sort of see it there. You don't want to take it away from the base. You want to shorten the width of the dovetail as it corresponds to the slot. This looks about good to me, so I'm going to start. I noticed that the slide was about halfway through the U-notch, a little more. And uh, I just went ahead and pounded it in like this. Worked out just fine for me. Um, I really didn't want too hard of a back surface on it because I didn't want to overshoot my mark. Not that I was really scared of it, but... This was just uh, easier to film and it worked out really well for me. And that looked good. Now, uh, like I said, you got the two Allen screws. They do provide a tool for that too. So I mean, really Wilson Combat gives you everything you're gonna need to install these sights, minus the file and the hammer. And of course, Loctite. So I go ahead and take the screws out. There are two. I'll have good pictures of that at the end of the video. One and two. Now what I did is I just set it on the end of the Allen key, put a little bit of blue Loctite on it, and then just run it back down in, about finger tight. I just put the extra Loctite there on the other screw. You couldn't see that on camera. But you just run it down in, again, making sure to back the screw out first. Then once you feel it seat, then you can go forward. Really sucked a cross thread on a $50 sight. And again, with the second screw. Lock tight, back it out till it seats, and then drive it in finger tight. Now, I just gave it a little, I switched over to the strong side on the Allen key, and just did a little safety snug there. And then wipe off your excess lock tight. And that is a sight install. Double check for straightness. Make sure everything looks good. And then 
reassemble your pistol. Doesn't hurt to do a function check at this point, just to make sure that the front sight's not catching on anything. Though, there's really not much of a chance that it will. I'm Practical Schroeder. Thank you all for watching. After this, I'm gonna roll in some high quality pictures. Y'all have a good day. So, take my little screw here. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. A little dab of the locker and just... <laughs> 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 so much for a little dab. <laughs>